this is up in the air. We're going to walk all the way. Park swung open for us to be able to go where we would normally go. So we can give you a full half mile and let you see what the, the experience is. But you'll understand once it goes up that as you even move away, walk away, it doesn't change the sound. It's really quite amazing. But this first one that we're going to play is the one that I'm going to show you some other products when we have our quick intermission in between this one and the next one of our vest mount speaker and our new handheld speaker, which is three pounds, plays for 10 hours, and it, you'll hear it. But it's the same unit in there. That thing has a gimbal on it, so if you want to hover over a crowd, hypothetically, and shoot down, you can. Or if you want to be off to the side and shoot across everybody, you can. experienced the last couple of months in Fairfax District. Uh, even when you first lifted up and it was aimed the other direction, we can clearly hear it way down there. So it's much more robust, very clear the clarity. So that number one size speaker would be the one that works best. And tell us what you think about the best mount speaker. The, uh, the wearable speaker for what I do in the public order, crowd ride control thing, I like that one quite a lot. 
actually the best. I just hook it on my vest right here, so I get hands free and I can easily hit the button and speak to tell people if uh, my deputies are a greater distance away. Uh, and easy to turn it off if I need to just be next to them and say something and not have anybody else here. So it's nice to have the control so easy available right at my waist, a little finger toggle switch right there. But it's been very good in that I can talk to everybody and I can know that hearing what I'm saying by the fact that they are doing it without having to turn toward me to have me repeat it, without having to read my lips. Be surprised how much you don't realize, or you realize now how much you read lips. Now that people are wearing these masks all the time, you realize, oh, shit, I do read lips a lot. But with that wearable speaker, um, it just projects out there. Because we were taking M80s, a lot of people were screaming, yelling, sirens, glass bottles, all kinds of things, our ordinance that we were shooting, and it was easy for me to communicate with the wearable speaker that we had, so. Brian, what do you think about the new handheld? Uh, it's very lightweight, a lot much more projection or, or, or Directional of the sound waves uh, using that one compared to the other speakers that are heavy and kind of cumbersome. But that thing's almost, you almost don't even know you have it on you other than it's something that's flopping around when you have it strapped on a shoulder strap of some sort. But it's very lightweight, so it's really negligible. So that's Yeah, absolutely, tell the truth. Um, this is Sid Hale. Um, he knows me, obviously. Known him for over 15 years. Uh, he's what helped us get into where we are in this business. And in, in, indirectly, he saved a hell of a lot of people's lives. This he has never seen before, and I'd love to get your first impression. Pretty slick. Slicker and snail snow. <laughs> and let me ask you this. Uh, do you think this will help you... In, and help the people that you know worldwide? Will oh, yeah. this help them do their job I, in a I, safe way? I can see lots of potential for this. Okay. We were just talking about the other things we can do. It is so clear under the worst case scenario, uh, even with my hearing impaired, right. uh, that we could actually identify and fall out a single injury. Yes, you can. Uh, the advantage of that is you can put that in a radio car. A sergeant could have that. And hang it on his side. Yeah. A lot of times, uh, well, all Ease the time. of use is what it is. What did you think about the vest? Yeah. It's good. Because well, your hands are free. The thing I like about the smaller one is the fact that it can be deployed at a far greater saturation than the big ones. Right. So they're in direct support. And most of the time when we get to these incidents, they escalate. And as a result, we can intervene at lower levels sooner. A lot of times we can prevent them from going to the point where we have to use harsher force. So I think that's a big advantage. We were just I was just talking with Brian and George about being able to call out a single individual in a big mob. And you know they're gonna hear you. And we know they're gonna hear us. Exactly. In fact I've already started thinking about some other things we could do because it really the use of sound as a non-lethal option is almost unexplored right now. Right. Uh, and there's certain frequencies. Have you ever, have you heard, ever heard anybody's sound or speakers or anything that sound nope. like ours? Nope, none. I've said that for years. Yeah. Circle the word fail. And this is really the worst case scenario for, for sound. Everything here is so highly energy like but it was crystal clear, sure. at, yeah. at we'll least beyond 100 yards. Yeah. 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 Yeah.